Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Hello, Mr. Thud. No, I am not opening that with my fingers. You're way too close. Relax. Oh, no. That He's was... very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Uh, this... Mr. Thud. That was a very exciting uh, visit you just paid me, huh? Come on. No, I'm not going to take it from you. He is uh, quite unhappy because he only got one mouse last week and he's only going to get one this week because I haven't gotten my shipment of rodents in, so I have to spread them around a little bit to make sure everybody is happy while his mouth is occupied. I will take this and it's nice of him to poop in his water dish. Why must you always hide your head with the food when we do this? It makes it very difficult to get video. You're not doing anything, so I'm going to wait for Al to get back. Hi, Thud. Hi, Thud. Yeah, you're you're very enthusiastic. You know what time it is. Come on over here. There you go, bud. I can probably extract this because he's very unlikely to want to let go of that. Um, I saw a video this morning uh, from the Kentucky Reptile Zoo where all the other water cobras went. Uh, that I had in my collection because Jim and Kristen didn't have any water culvers, I think, previously. Um, so, the water culvers have a very interesting venom. Uh, so, I see them extracting uh, on a normal schedule, but uh, it, it's, it's funny to uh, watch them because um, they're really very lively and animated and, and give uh, a gem a little bit of trouble getting them tubed. Um, they have a very highly toxic neurotoxic venom that produces almost no pain um, and is not a defensive venom like say a monocle cobra. It's like, you know, I'm going to bite you and I'm going to make it hurt a real lot so you leave me alone. It's more of a feeding venom. They rely more on their ability to escape predators and people in particular uh, because of their patterning as well as their, their habitat. Um, so there, there's a lot of interest in, in the venom as a pain reliever. So. Um, it hurts me a little bit to watch Jim working with, you know, animals I raised up from little baby hatchlings. Uh, I miss them, but at least I can visit with them on the videos. And I encourage you to support uh, Kentucky Reptile Zoo. And if you want to uh, sponsor an animal, uh, they have programs where you can sponsor a particular animal. 
Um, uh, and of course, uh, Elvis's dad is still there with them. Um, so that's always a very interesting to, to see him when they take him out of his enclosure. You want to get his water bottle? The water oh, bottle? yes. Thanks for Bowling. reminding me, yep. uh, sweetie. Okay, so we'll check. I don't see any bacterial growth. So we'll empty that in the cage and provide him some humidity, even though it's summertime and it's humid. I still like to keep, he's a water cobra, of course, we want to keep him in a humid environment. You can watch him much or any place to water him. Why must you hide your head under the edge there? Come out where everyone can see you. Boy, he's gotten big. Yeah, one thing Jim and Kristen uh, mentioned um, that one of the animals they were extracting from, from my collection, uh, Jim said this one's definitely a male. Now, usually from most photographs of any venomous snake or any non-venomous snake, I can usually say, and Laurie can confirm this, and I can say, oh, well, he's a nice boy, or look at that girl, or something like that. I can, uh, oh, by the way, yes, there's only two sexes I know of uh, in venomous or non-venomous snakes, uh, <laughs> um, uh, just for the record. Uh, but water cobras, out of all the other cobras, are very difficult to discern their sex just by looking at visually at their cloaca and tail size and shape and stuff um, I found it always very challenging usually though the females are are quite feisty but the one that Jim was working with this morning was like oh this one's a male and he was a real pain in the butt uh, uh, to pin and extract from and um, I spoke with Jim at Venom Week and we spent a lot of time together and I noted his change of technique uh, which is uh, a much safer technique than uh, um, that I've seen previously. He's doing a lot more tubing. He's doing uh, a, a lot more uh, uh, you know, work with the, the tubes rather than just uh, pinning uh, by hand although he still does uh, you know snatches a, the head of a king culver right out of the air uh, sort of the way I sometimes had to handle Elvis when he got out of hand um, but king culvers are just too strong and powerful to, uh, to pin their heads all you do is really piss them off and it's just better to distract them, or if they're distracted and going the other way, just to, just to quickly reach down and grab them behind the head uh, on the neck because the neck isn't flexible to come around and bite you. Whereas if you were a few inches off the mark, even as much as one inch off the mark with this one of these water culbers, you can see how he's got his head twisted around. You miss the mark while grabbing that without pinning it and you're going to get bit. Well, the green rocket just shed. She hasn't eaten since the fall. This is May now. Towards the end of May. I'm hoping she's going to come back on feed. Her sister, the big blue one, uh, did something similar and, and came back on feed like a couple weeks ago. So I'm hoping that she is going to do the same. You know, I don't breed the females basically to death. They've had a couple litters, so that's all I'm going to 
going to let them have because it really taxes their bodies. So I'm going to get the shed out, change out the water dish, and see if she wants something to eat. Whoa, Miss Fire, huh, Miss Green? <laughs> Excited. Hair trigger. Excited. Hair trigger. What? That was an abortive one, huh? Here we go. Here's uh, the green rocket cam. Uh, yes, yeah, someone uh, just made me an offer for her, but she's sort of a legacy snake, so she's not going anywhere. Right, girly, huh? All right, enjoy your food.